Okay, so today we let's take a look at more options for the cut film map. Oh, this is a project I done well while back, and as you can see, I have my cut film map here. However, uh, lots of people like to have um, gradient uh, cut film map. So uh, last time when we looked at it, if you go to properties under your cut film map you do have um, uh, the thresholds right like which you uh, put in so 0 0.098 feet for example it's above below in between is green uh, so you can set that here uh, however what i'm talking about is the shaded map so if i hit that yes it's gonna create me a shaded map from the cut fill numbers which means uh, I guess I chose a large project so let's let's generate that uh, so instead of just the numbers we're gonna get a underlay based on certain parameters it's gonna go uh, from one color gradient to another and I want to take a look today how we can change it and make a cut fill map custom for each project so while we're waiting if you like these kind of videos I have plenty of more on my channel so check them out and hit like and subscribe okay so here we are so this would be my cut fill map if I unselect it and I'm gonna basically uh, take everything out so as you can see, the white areas are basically the areas without any with, within my threshold plus or minus uh, 0 0.9 foot feet. Uh, the red ones are obviously cut, and the blue ones are fills. Now what I want to do is I want to select this and hit this edit color mapping uh, icon. I believe that one is under takeoff as well under. Uh, color mapping so when we hit that we can find uh, our color map uh, properties so we know how does it go um, we do smooth transition and we can do actual elevation or evenly spaced if we go evenly spaced and hit ok that did it didn't do much right so because that's uh, we didn't change any colors we just changed the method but if I go if I hit the color uh, like cut fill map and hit color mapping and let's say uh, since I have uh, evenly spaced here um, I can uh, go by count let's go to six and so I got one two three four five six uh, maybe go to eight so we'll, we'll, we'll so between zero to eleven feet and zero to minus eleven feet I have four spaces so now I can start changing this so I can do uh, wherever I don't have a cut uh, cut fill I'm gonna do let's say green then I can go from green to oops, um, oh yeah I'm, I'm always I need to hit here let's go to cayenne right and then we go to blue and then we'll do the same thing over here and we're gonna go to let's say magenta to what's kind of reddish one here purple and I forgot to change this one so cayenne I changed there what can I put in in between um, aquamarine okay so now let's hit ok it's gonna recalc the the thing right 
and as you can see the most of the side is in that greenish color which the greenish color is kind of the from 0 to 2.75 feet which let's double check yeah, 2.6 2.1 right so, so as you can see so we went from green to this cayenne so that's not the best idea green to cayenne because we can't really identify the aquamarine so the aquamarine and cayenne are not the greatest colors right because cayenne and aquamarine they are really really about the same so what can we sneak in between let's see if I can do um color like okay so we'll leave this one okay now i messed it up um we'll leave this one aquamarine but this uh, cayenne we're gonna change to this bluish which is the same no it's different so if I hit OK and OK so we're getting there now the next step would be uh, it seems like to actually take a space the 2.7 is good right so if I put one foot two feet three feet and then anything about and I do minus one minus two minus three so as you can see I'm getting different colors in here now then it's just a habit of, of uh, remembering what's what so as you can see it's uh we are getting there so the next step would be maybe even get it smaller so zero to zero point five to one and two oh i think i have to hit enter hey so minus zero point five minus one and what was it two two oh. okay so we change some colors so okay so boom we we are back home so as you can see anything above two feet is red obviously for the cut now I'm starting to get a hold of it a beautiful thing about it is that you can save this color map for the future and just uh, load it as, as you want so instead of um, you can do actual elevations Mm -hmm. so yeah so that's uh, that's a color mapping obviously the next step would be in, in, uh, put in a legend um, I just need to turn it on and yeah 
So cut fill, let's put it in there. So as you can see we have a legend here. Something weird is happening here. Okay, we'll hit the properties. I think I have a see it goes two eleven two so I think I have a issue with my with my color mapping two one five zero one two three huh Okay, so let's erase that and try it again. If I go legend, what else? So I have cut fill, cut fill shading, cut fill location. And okay, so there is not much I can do. Uh, I'm going, this legend is going crazy. I don't know why is this jumping here weirdly up like that even though I don't have no 11 so there must be a mistake somewhere properties oh you can actually get even areas well, that's a nice one. So you get a oh, okay. So now this one is even better because it tells you how much uh, cut in uh, uh, two feet minimum between two feet and eleven. You have twenty-four uh, s square feet between two and one. You have that, and it gives you the color mapping. So I would definitely need to work on my red because it's uh, you see from one to two to three it's all red which we don't necessarily want to see so if I hit the color mapping again but I have the magenta there so I'm not sure why is it not cooperating with me oh yeah because I think everything above two feet is red Okay, I see. So that that's that's that. But yeah, now uh, so you can play with it and get a beautiful picture, which will um, be more valuable to the guys because not everybody kind of wants to read the little numbers. Uh, they just want to kind of take a look at the cut fill and and utilize that. So what else we have here legend cut fill color mapping yes and as i went to the in initially when i went to the um, uh, properties where i choose my uh, cut fill uh, colors you can choose them over here as well as uh, under your properties so you can also uh, display the daylight uh, line which is uh, basically your line between uh, zero and uh, like, you know zero and um, yeah, you see kind of like your zero contour almost right so you can do that but um, I don't know if uh, that's used well it might be useful somewhere but uh, right now to, on this project this is not really a big deal well that's it for today we'll see you next one